Hi everybody, my name's Helen, and today I bring you my July and August wrap-up. I realized kind of halfway through August that I had not filmed my July wrap-up and decided to just kind of smush them together. So, here we go. The first book that I read this month was Saga Volume 1 by Brian Vaughn and Fiona Staples, and I really, really enjoyed this. It deserves all the hype it's been getting on booktube lately. It was so much fun, it was so weird and wonderful, loved the characters. It definitely is for a mature audience, I will give you that. But I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. The second book I read this month was Agent K, Volume 5 by Simone, Lee, and Udon. Those are uh, three last names, by the way. And this was kind of cute and fun. I found it at a um, like used comic book store kind of thing, and the, it just looked really, really cute, and I didn't realize it was volume 5, but it was really easy to catch on in the story. Not a lot happened in this volume, but what did happen was enjoyable. I ended up giving it 3 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. And this is by those lovely folks over at Marvel. I read this for the Booktubeathon. If you saw my wrap up, you know that I did very poorly during the Booktubeathon, but this is one of the ones that I did finish. This had all of the prequel stuff as, as well as the first eight ish volumes of the Guardians of the Galaxy comic books. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite comic book chains. I have been reading them for a very long time, but I never read them in order. And now with the movie coming out, I just have been so excited. I still haven't seen the movie. No spoilers, please. My heart will break. But I gave uh, this book 4 out of 5 stars. The fourth book that I read in July was And Then She Was Gone by Rosalind Noonan, and this book was heartbreaking. It's the story of a girl who was kidnapped when she was 11, and she's found when she's 17 and brought back home, and it's her readjusting to life with her family. It was a really interesting story, although it did drag a little bit at times. I ended up giving the book three and a half out of five stars. The fifth book that I read in July was Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. This is book two in the Vampire Academy series. Loved it. It was so much fun. So much more happens. We got to know the characters a lot more. I ended up giving it four out of five stars. And immediately afterwards I picked up Shadow Kiss, also by Rochelle Mead, which is book three. And the feels that this book gave me were unnatural, and I need book four in my life now. So that's gonna happen soon because I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was The Selection by Kira Cass, and I really enjoyed this book. It's kind of like my guilty pleasure fun read now. I agree with everybody with America being the most annoying character ever to read from. I hated Aspen. I just love Max into pieces, and she just needed to sort her shit out. But I gave The Selection 4 out of 5 stars. And immediately afterwards, I picked up The Elite, which was my least favorite out of the series, I think, but I also gave it 4 out of 5 stars. And then immediately after that, I picked up The One. And I gave the book 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but I'm not sure if I would still stick with that rating looking back at it. I'm not entirely sure, but I did really enjoy it as a finale. I'm happy with everything that went down. I'm satisfied, and I think that overall it was a good way to end the trilogy, so I did enjoy the one. Then in August, my very first week, and in August I went camping with uh, one of my best friends and her family, and we went up to this old ranch and we got to hang out with some horses and everything, and our campsite was right on a river, so she and I took some chairs down by the river and we just sat there and read, and we did that a lot. So over that weekend, I managed to finish uh, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, which I really enjoyed. I literally picked, I picked this up when I first started book two because I had never heard of it. The cover was gorgeous and I just really wanted to read it, but I never got around to it. 
And then I discovered Whitney from over at Witty Novels, and her love for the series just made me really, really, really want to read it. So it was the first book I picked up in August, and I ended up giving Shatter Me four out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Took turns I was not expecting. Immediately afterwards, I picked up Unravel Me, which is the sequel, and also really, really enjoyed this one. I liked what was happening throughout it more than what happened in Shatter Me, but the drama in it was a bit of, a bit annoying, but not so annoying that it took away from it, if that makes any sense. I ended up giving Unravel Me 5 out of 5 stars, and then I had to pick up Ignite Me. And, oh jeez, just... Whew. What an ending. That's all I can say. 5 out of 5 stars. And the last book that I finished in August was Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I really, really enjoyed it. I have read all of her books now and she still has yet to disappoint me. I can't get over how perfect her books are every time. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. And those are all the books that I finished in August. I am currently reading Poison by Chris Wooding. I'm only about 50 pages in. I don't know if I'll finish it before the end of the month. I'm and my memory card was full, so let's try this last part again. I just had a quick update for you, namely that, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably already noticed, I'm back in my dorm. So videos now should be a lot easier for me to upload and to film. I will hopefully have one or two videos up every week, and I'm really excited to be able to commit to my channel again. I've missed doing this. So hopefully you guys will be seeing a lot more of me over the next little while. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Have you read any of the books that I mentioned in this video? What did you think of them? Leave your comments and things down below. I look forward to hearing from you, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!